Hi, welcome to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but also Detroit Become Human. Detroit Become a JoJo. <laughs> yeah, basically. So, it's, um, yeah, th this is our compromise because Spencer wanted to play a JRPG, and I thought, well, this can look interesting. So. Yeah, and it's not too long. I thought it was actually longer when I picked it up, but I literally got this just a couple days ago, um, and you just saw my personal file on the left. Uh, I'm not too far into it, but nothing that we shouldn't, like already do here so it starts here with this cutscene and this is actually a really cool cutscene all right so explain to us like what this game is about because there's gonna be a lot of um oh it it, it does the entire thing like after this you're once expecting you're people to pay attention yeah that's right um anyway so this is uh the location right now is where they're like researching like the things uh you know what actually i'm just gonna screw it um so it's about, uh, humanity's basically on its last legs. Um, they've moved to an uh, artificial island called the Ark. Very creative, <laughs> I know, biblical reference. Uh, and then, so basically these uh, monsters are coming through uh, portals and they're, like, trying to take over and okay. they emit uh, radiation. And if a human has experience too much of that radiation they will turn into one of the monsters themselves oof ouch which are uh frick i don't know if they're all called chimeras or if the specialty ones are just called chimeras um and they all are composed around a core like that and right here they're this is a captured one don't know how they captured one but they did and insert lego building sound uh <laughs> It's like the freaking, um, have you ever played, like, the Lego games where it's, like, they just do this and the blocks just, like, fly yeah. into place? Yeah, so anyway, th and then you basically fight them. Yeah, well, you can fight them hand-to-hand, -hand, but you can't really see them unless you have, uh, well, you can't see chimeras unless you have one of these guys, which is called, I think, a Legatus? Or a Le no, it's called a Le Legion. Um, yeah, they're nasty. <laughs> well, I'm glad Hanneman there is excited. <laughs> Hanneman, yeah. That, I didn't realize that until you said that. It's kind of like Hanneman. Except his mustache is better. <laughs> he has, like, two half Cs. Like, that, that's the optimal mustache style. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is actually really good, like, opening cutscene, though. Also, I don't know how it does this why was it sticking to the wall there we don't know um and so i don't know what the greater like thing is in this are those astral chains yes they are i literally just said it nice they're called astral chain and also the um they named the dimension where these guys come from the astral plane um and it's all the corruption stuff is called uh red something the crimson no but uh, if a person experiences too much of that and they turn into one of these, they call it red shifting. Let's, let's not um, ex exposition our viewers too much here. I'm sure people are already, like, freaking... Yeah, but it looks really sick. And then he goes... Squint. <laughs> and he squints. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's not good, laddie. Thanks for giving me another well, weapon. Well, that guy just freaking died. And then they do this. Oh. Lol XD. <laughs> Lol XD. Okay, retard. <laughs> it was my plan the whole time. <laughs> Yo, let, me, let me provide you with an alternative argument. No. No. <laughs> and then uh, it turns blue. Here, because, you know, that's how all things that... That's how you can tell it's good. It's blue. Lean back. What? Lean back. Me? Yeah. Oh, so okay. So like an equal distance from the mic because I'm too lazy to sit up. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, he also looks really cool in terms of how he's dressed. Oh. Okay, so Yosef there. Yosef Yostar. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought too. He reminds me... Okay, did you ever see those like Hot Wheels movies? No. <sighs> they're like accelerators or something like that and they were about people who were driving and other things related to Hot Wheels. 
And that guy looks exactly like one of the uh, the professor, or like the, the main Tesla guy there. So the only thing bad visually about this game that I've picked up on... Is anime. No, is the <laughs> lip sync. The lip sync isn't really good. And then this is like, are you a boy or are you a girl? <laughs> professor. Are you Oops. thighs or are you not? It's the same thing, it's just like, how much of your thighs do you want to show... Yeah, we're just going to do this one. Birthday. How, we're just how gonna early keep it. can we set our birth date? You can't. Name. What's our name? It's got your birth date. Oh. Yeah, we're in the future if you can't sell. 2058. Set your name. And we're just going to make this one... Jimmy. Jimmy? All right, Wait, hold up. What's, oh, it's I seven say characters. So. Name. Random. Kazuma. Yamato. Hi 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 Hayato. Hayato. <laughs> 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 that, all right, that's it. That's it, that's it. Uh, that's his name. And you have to uh, say it like Kira every time. Hayato. Hayato. Uh, I don't know if you know, but we call Anna that now. Why? Because Aiden, uh, it's like, hey, I know. doesn't this look like Anna? And I'm like, yes, actually. <laughs> and so, basically, the two, peop the two avatars that we were just shown are twins. <laughs> And they are adopted by a captain of the police guard, which is just what they're going to tell us in a while. And then they're like, oh, yeah, let's just send them into immediate danger without telling them what they're going to do. And zoom in closer. <laughs> closer. Uh... And then this, this is where I start. This is where I start playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, this is, like, the sickest opening thing whoa, ever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm officially playing the game. Okay, good lord, this is going bonkers. Yeah, I know, it's great. And then you'll immediately see some of the some of the base level enemies show up here, and it just plays, like, a Sonic boss fight. So what what is the gameplay like in this? Is it mainly... Uh, it's a lot of Detroit, where you like, questioning people. Oh, I got hit. Whoops. <laughs> It's a lot of uh, interrogating people, but then there's also a lot of fighting these guys. Oh, so it's not like boring or casino. Oh no, no no no! There's not a lot of. Oh, I did not expect that. I see damage numbers. I'm already intimidated. Okay, I almost hit that car. <laughs> the damage <laughs> numbers. I really don't pay attention because there's never a. Uh, there's never really a health bar, and it just kind of says you're doing this much damage. Also, I can just lay on this and not let go. <laughs> what does B do? Whoa, okay. That's what I've been doing. And then you get to do that. Wow, do a trick. Flex on the hater, just... Whoa. Okay, yeah, I forgot about this part. Yeah, don't hit that guy, because then you might have to file an insurance claim, and that would be a lot No, there, there's a... Uh, there's a couple... Oh, I got hit. Does it matter? Because it doesn't look like you have health. Uh, it doesn't matter at this point in the game, no. It just kind of messes you up, and I don't like it. Oof. Ooh! Wow, she just took to that like a champ. <laughs> yeah, but this bike looks freaking sick. Yeah, it does. It's like Tron, but like... Bam! The... That would be kind of dangerous to do in midair. Like, all things considered. Oh, there's one. Yes, So I they're see. called... Frick, they're called I-something. I know it starts with an I, but I can't recall I after films. that. Hope I got hit. Those missiles are kind of hard to predict. PS line. And oh. then I have this thing. His neutral special wields a gun. Yeah, this is a weapon that I can actually use, so... Well, you get a weapon later, um, and you'll fight these guys on the ground, but you get a weapon later, that can one-shot these guys, and it's hilarious, because you Ooh. just walk up to them and hit them once. This game is a fraud. You didn't reload once. It's an energy-based shot. You have to reload the energy. <laughs> well, you're a defensive driver. Your, your, your driving school instructor would be proud. Oh, well, that's not good. Whoa. I forget what I do here. Oh, yeah, I just run through it like a boss. <laughs> just... Whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna say no on that. <laughs> I'm gonna say no on that as well, considering you're not carrying any gear. And that was actual fire. And he's dead. Wow. You can kill him in three hits when you have the gun, but... 
kind of bows are those? It's, just uh, like... it's part of their body. Oh, so it's like a decidui? No, no, no. It's like literally, it's not like a string or anything. It's literally just their body, and they can just produce energy shots. And this is where we start moving on the ground. The guy's wearing a tie. Like, what? Yeah, police. Um, police do not wear And a tie. then, so this is, we have, you. we have like this baton, and then we have this. <laughs> and then, okay. you don't use the gun right here. Boy, am I glad to see you. Yeah, so, the designs are pretty cool. Um, but there's just like, you're gonna see a lot of people die real quick. Yeah, well, they didn't deserve to be alive anyway. No, I mean, that helicopter's going, like, there's a helicopter that's gonna be off to our right in a second that just completely dies. Spoilers? Oh, I can switch my weapon here, too. <laughs> I didn't know that. Just quick, viciously cycling, like, the inside of that guy's body, you're holding a gun or a... No, it's on, it's on my hip right now. You can <laughs> kind of see it. I want to make sure it's set to baton. Even when you get, like, the great sword, I forget what it's called, but it's just a massive sword. It's uh, a sword that's pretty great. I call it, like, the great sword, broadsword, whatever. I'm not sure what kind of helicopter that would even be. Well, we're in 20, we're, like, in 2060, at least. I 2060s. mean, do you think technology will improve like, that oh, much? there better? they go. Wow, I spent all of my energy rescuing those guys for nope, nothing. Nope, that's a different helicopter. Oh. Ooh. So, oh yeah, they're aberrations. So yeah, just like freaking beat them up. And if, when, here, if I were to pull out my gun there, they, it does like two damage. How much does the baton do? A lot more. At least ten per shot. Oh wow. Um, this does only two damage at the point I'm at. Well, it does two damage three times, so... It's still not worth it, because you can do so much more cooler stuff with this. And it puts them in stun. This guy is like freaking Joker with how he wields stuff. Also, how does this guy have 600 HP while well, the enemies you're fighting have like 20? Oh yeah, they give you a lot of wiggle room in this game in terms of HP. Also, those guys don't help at all. See, this is where you need your gun. Also, these guys are weak as frick. I say as I get shot. I mean, if I got shot multiple times, I'd probably be... There we go. Oh. And it does that really cool screenshot thing every time. Alright. Nope, I can't move. Cool. <laughs> the, the Japanese symbols are actively blocking you. Yeah. Hot-headed officer. Oh, yeah, then they give me a, my, uh, healer medicine, whatever. Healer medicines. So... I wonder what the future will actually be like, if it's gonna be anything like this. I don't know, but the helicopters look freaking sick. That's all I know. I wonder if in the future people will be able to style their hair like that. You can style your hair like that now. It just takes a lot of effort, oh, and it's not up. really worth it, because people think you're a weeb. Alright, so there's a bunch of these crates around, and we can open them to get items and stuff. Let's see. Uh, what do I do to get past here? First, I need to check these, and now I'm going to go rescue my sister. Just, just got to wave your hand over. <laughs> that's my that's my front dodge. <laughs> that's a very interesting dive technique. That That's my dodge. Floating. Yeah. Also, yeah, they curse in this game. Oh, no, they said the bad word. There we go. And we can't see that. Yeah, you can. Oh. He's right there. <laughs> yeah, but can we damage it? No. I mean, you can try. What, what's the point of it, then, if you can't hit it? Hit it. See, there's two of them, and we can't see them. Alright, you gotta, um... It, this just goes on for some time, and then it eventually, like, stops. See, this, this is what the future is going to be like, is invisible people, and you can swing your See baton their stands. so See, hard. See, they're just stands, because they, uh... I mean, you can still see them, they're just, like, kind of weird, and they look like you bumped into a cloaked spy. And they can only be killed in cutscenes, I guess. Nope, they're not even dead here. We still have to fight them. Also, nice shot. Uh, and then... Deus Ex, in three... Two, one. There we go. 
And then these are the legions. You can see he's got one there. And it's just, and it's basically just two fists. His is the most stand. That's another thing that's going to happen in the future is people's glasses are all going to be like anime styled and really thin. And I don't care. So that's called a chimera. And then, yeah, that one's... Puppy. A dog. <laughs> that one's literally just a dog. Nothing weird about it. Or, yeah. Puppy. <laughs> and then because this is like all of humanity, there's like a bunch of names. So there's like a lot of Japanese names. And then there's like a lot of Mexican and American names. I was going to say, like, all of humanity sounds very Japanese. And then this, which just kind of happens. I hate to break it to you, but that guy, not that, not the guy on the screen, but the, the weird guy that's been invisible is probably a furry, so... Sorry to tell you that, but... Three, two, one. Oh my, well, mo, Shinderu. This looks like Warframe, kind of. I have not seen Warframe before. It's very similar. A lot of It the, reminds uh... me of, uh... So that's... That one belongs to the captain of the... Crunch? Uh, <laughs> Captain Max. Oops. AKA or Poppy. Captain Crunch, oops, all stands. Wait, is that, um. What? That voice actor sounds like, uh, freaking Gerald. I know. It's weird because that's what I thought, too. Is it? I wonder if it's the same. Let me check. Uh, I don't know. Look it up. What's this guy's name? Maximilian. Okay. Or Captain Max. What the hell are you saying? And then they give us our own stands here. And nice. we don't have to get shot by an arrow. There's a lot of exposition that goes on in the beginning of this. It's, it is, I'm but literally after this and the training mode, I'm just going to skip the entire training mode um, because I already know how to do the basic stuff. And then they give us our stands here. And then, like, in, like, a single chapter, in a chapter after this, they'd tell us, like, don't go off on your own, and if you find a chimera, tell us, and then one Narrator. appears, it's like... they go off on their own. And then it's five times their, uh, it's five times our size, and we take it on ourselves. Okay, so it looks like Gerald is not the same. Wait, he voices... The Velvet Warden. Room guy. That's from Persona. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I can't believe he had um, a role in Return to Papa LaCroix. And Transformers. That's Team a Transformers. Hot Wheels. Also, the epic race. Here's the, like... Oh. Like, oh, we can't see it, but we know it's there. How tall their head is is directly proportional to their power. Ready? Watch this. So now, now we just do the most Power Rangers cutscene ever. Yeah, that guy's hacking. And <laughs> watch this. He's using invisible hacks. Oh! Alright, it's duel time. Activate your Beyblade. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> like, everything you've said so far is what I thought at the time of, like, me playing this. And so, exposition, exposition. Uh, here are our stands. I have a sword boy, and she is an arrow boy. Right. Um, I'm, I'm almost at the games section. Um, so this guy... Additional voices, narration, what the... I can't even find this page. This is wow, dumb. I already killed it. Wow. It's like... I don't know, the thing in games is where it's like, oh, this is like the most powerful enemy. They're so powerful that they deserve a cutscene, and... Yeah, if I wrap my chain around them, I get dies. I, I get a uh, kind of thing where it just wraps them up. Well, that's a wrap. Yep, it is. Yeah. And it basically just lets me get a bunch of free crits. Um, critting in this game is determined by going behind your enemy. This guy is literally not even... okay. So it's not the same voice actor as what I'm getting at here. So, yeah. But, 
on uh, on a better note, he did play a role in Rainbow Butterfly Unicorn Kitty, so... Wait, what? Yeah, that's a good question. Wait, what? Hold up, can I do this yet? Oh, no, it doesn't let me do the cool thing. This, I, I just clicked on the show. It looks like the most terrifying thing that I've ever seen. Just the art style. Mm. <laughs> it looks like uh, a ripoff of the uh, My Little, uh, the Pet Shop, whatever it was. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. The Pet the Shop. Pet the Shop. No, uh, there was My Little Pet Shop or something like that. I think it's Littlest of... Pet Shop. Little... Yeah, that's it. And there was a show for that, and that's what it looks like, but way creepier. Was there a show for that? Does, there was, that unfortunately. Necessary? Hey, just like every successful thing, they have to make a spin-off. Well, you know. And then we just kind of kill them. No, what this looks like is the Unikitty, um... Do you remember that? They oh, yeah, yeah. The Lego movie? Yeah. Watch this, ready? Ooh. Yeah, like I said, how tall their head is is directly proportional to how powerful they are. That guy is probably really powerful. Elias? No, they're not that hard. They, they, These guys become the base enemies in the game. Dang, I hate to see what, like, Etika, Polnareff level haircuts like the later game enemies have. Yeah, it does. <laughs> good, good commentary. Uh, as long as we need to, because I this guy's like almost dead with the amount of damage that we're doing. It's just like, what's even going on? Like you got drilled in the face with a giant hammer or sword or something, and you took like five damage. Yeah, and I'm just shooting him, and I can't do my legion attacks hit, which makes me sad. And mm. I'm just gonna wrap you up, sir. <coughs> I don't know if you saw what I just did, but if they do a charge attack, you can, like, put your uh, legion in the way of them and, like, slingshot them away from you, and it's actually really funny. Pounce. Oh, and this is where this happens. Things are occurring. Oh, crap. And then she gets out with, like, the freaking highest jump ever, and then somehow we don't fall off, even though this is wet concrete or wet asphalt. I mean, it's still... Wet asphalt is still pretty frictionous, like... Not like this, it's not. <laughs> that's... Oh, well, okay. That, that is clearly the most effective way of doing things, is jumping and rolling on an oh. already unstable surface. Oof. Oh, are you gonna get fricked? <laughs> <laughs> and this, ready? And then we go Super Saiyan. They Uru. literally silver chariots. Wow. Yeah, but the visuals in this game are sick, especially for a Switch game. Like I know, the one thing that I, a lot of people said about this before it came out is that it doesn't look like they're making this game for Switch. And then we just kind of kill them with our persona. Well, good job, Crazy Diamond. You did it. Crazy Diamond. Sticky fingers. Yeah, like they like I don't know if you just watched his mouth. Like they only sometimes line up the words. Oof! Ouch! I drank too much bone hurting. So juice, see the weapon that he has. Hurt. See the weapon yeah. that he has. We get that. Oh. And that's the sword that can one shot the uh, lowest level of enemies. It's not even a sword. It's like a cube. It's more like a broadsword, like you said, more no, it's crushing. A, it's a cube. It's a Discord logo for the minute there. No. Are you okay? He says <coughs> as he's on the ground holding his head in <laughs> agony. I drank too much headache hurting juice. Are we at 24? Yeah, we are. So this is a good time to end it. So thanks for watching.